All right, today I'm going to go through boot hurt rules, where you can strike, where you can't strike, how you can wrestle, how you can't wrestle, where to tickle and where not to tickle. That, I got my mate Vinny here. Vinny, bring it out. Here he is. This will be my, my dummy for today. Everything, Vinny, you good to go? Let's do it. Jesus. Our first rule we're going to go through is knee shots. Um, so with a weapon, the only place you cannot strike the knee is if my good Vinny turns around. Right in this soft part here where there's no armor, no strike zone. That's a zero. That's a red card. You're off to your opponent drops. Uh, with your foot though, you can't hit the knee, you can't roundhouse hit the knee, you can't do anything like that. As well as, same again, can't kick to the back of the knee as well. Uh, and a really basic one, no hitting in the general area, no D or V shots or whatever you got down there, none of that. Also, no feet shots, so you can't go up to someone and it's absolutely crap their knee. Can't be doing that. Um, can you stand on someone's foot? You can stand on it in a grapple, but you, you can't stomp it. You can stand on it, but you cannot stomp it. So my Vinny is my encyclopedia of boot rules, which is good. Makes me look more knowledgeable than I am. Um, then if we come closer to the camera, and Vinny turns around for me, I know strike zone is... Is the lower third of the helmet, so back of the neck. Also, the base of the neck, no strike zone. So, just so everyone knows, this is a no. So yeah, like this, boom, zero, no, no go. And also, if he's bending over down like this, someone's bending down, you don't allow a kit on top of the head like that. But if he's standing up, you're 100% able to hit him in the back of the head if he's standing up. Uh, Non-armoured parts. You're not allowed to hit non-armoured parts. So, as you see in the arms here, there is armour around it, but you can't be aiming for the Gamerson. If you see Gamerson or padding, which is very hard if they're wearing a tabard, you're legally not allowed to strike there. Armpits as well. As you see under the armpits, there is no armour. So if you're coming here and you're deliberately shooting up under the armpit, no go. You're a bad boy. Right, so with the grappling technique, same thing when you come into a grapple and he puts his arm on me wherever he wants. Okay? I can pull his armour to the side, but I cannot try and rip it off. So if I'm here, I can't push off him, find his gauntlet and try and pull off his gauntlet. That's a big no-no. Also, you can't grab onto people's helmets. You can't pull their helmets forward or try and rip it off. Um, not that you could anyway, you can't put your fingers inside the helmet. Also with wrestling, if any moves a bit closer, what you are not allowed to do is come here, grab your weapon underneath his helmet, straight across his neck and pull back. You can't pull back on the neck. You can though, bring that weapon across his face and rip him backwards. That is, that is fair game. But just try not trying to choke them across. Uh, another way to avoid that is by Vinny grabs me and does a seatbelt across my body with his weapon, like that. That is A-OK. -okay. You can do that. Move him to the side. He just can't go under my neck. All your MMA fighters out there, you can't come in here. You can't be just pushing, un uh, doing arm bars, coming in, doing a chicken wing, however you do that in armor. Yep. Ugh. And ripping it back. That hurt shot. You can't be chicken winging, even with the leg, can't be doing leg hooks. Um, so you can do leg hooks, you can't leg bar them. So trying to bend the joint in the un natural direction, I believe, is the rule set there. What else, Vinny? You can hit hands. You 100% can hit hands. That is a viable target, but it's just rude. It's just plain rude. Ah. <laughs> but we do love to do it. We'll do it. We, it's a rule. It's rude, but I love to do it. <laughs> no stabbing. Obviously, there's no stabbing. And this is a prime example why we don't stab in our sport, because that's how people literally died in armor. This is my buddy Andrew McCabe uh, from Kenya's USA. Nasty cut in his scar, but he still fought for the rest of the day after this uh, accident beast. Even with your weapon. Also, grabbing your weapon. You can punch people with your weapon, but you can't, you've got to have it 30 centimeters away from your blade. So if it's right up near the blade like that, it's essentially counter stabbing. So you've got to have 30 centimeters away from your weapon before you can start punching people. So that is the end of my video today. I completely forgot to film a conclusion video to this, but it's okay. Here's some footage of uh, Team Kraken fighting that night. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know I've missed out on some important rules of it, but this is a basic overview of all the rules, and then hopefully down the track I will do a complete video of all individual rules, but before I do that, I'm going to study them all. The rules are ever-changing, so some rules that I said today could become legal, 
um, and other ones could be invented that make other attacks illegal. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, hit like, subscribe, uh, and check out my other videos. More to come. In the future, there will be more interesting videos of me fighting zombies, fighting other martial artists uh, in their martial art prowess, and then coming to try Boo Hurt. There'll be a whole series on it. It's going to be awesome. But yes, like I said, like, subscribe. Have a good day. And as always, stay safe. If you can't stay safe, stay deadly. Take it easy, team.